In the last two videos, I was able to get Squid and SquidGuard installed into Raspbian on my Raspberry Pi 2 and set it up as a proxy server filtering content. Now, so far, we've just filtered some test domains that we put into a test domains file. We filtered three domain names, not a big deal, but we got it working. So now what we want to do is download a blacklist, an entire blacklist full of domains and URLs that we can then block using SquidGuard. Now, there's a free one that you can download that I recommend located at www.shalalist.de. And that's Shala spelled with two L's. Now, if you go to this website, you can see that their blacklist is free of charge for personal and partly for commercial usage. So all you need to do is go to this website and click the download link. And as you can see, it will download into your downloads folder. So I'm doing that right now and it's downloaded, great. So what I wanna do is, is I'll close this and I'll minimize the web browser and I'll go into my command prompt and I'll change directory into my home folder into the downloads folder. And I'll do an ls command and there it is, shalalist.tar.gz. Now we're going to need to extract it so we'll do a tar dash zxf shalalist.tar.gz to extract it. Okay, it's been extracted. I'll do another ls command and you can see that it extracts into a folder named bl for blacklist. If I go in there and do an ls, you can see that it's full of different categories and folders of different types of content that you might want to block on your network. So for this demonstration, I'm going to practice blocking some gambling sites. So you can see there's a gamble folder right here. So what I want to do is I want to copy the gamble folder over to SquidGuard. So I'll do a CP command. We'll do a sudo cp dash r recursively and I want to copy gamble to root var lib squidguard db which is the databases folder so I'll copy that over there and now I'll change directories and go over there Do an ls command and you can see there it is gamble now i want to go into this gamble and take a look at it so i'll change directories and go into gamble and you can see that permission is denied so that's odd why is permission denied even if you do a sudo cd into gamble you'll see that it's still permission denied so let's do an ls dash l and look at what kind of permissions are on this folder. You can see there's the gamble directory. It's got read, write, execute, read, execute, but it's missing the read, execute here. So let's change the permissions here. So sudo chmod recursively and put 755 permissions on gamble. Now we should be able to go in there. Okay, I'll do an ls command, and you can see there are two files in here, one named domains and one named URLs. If we take a look at these files, I'll do a nano on domains, you can see that it's just a list of domains related to gambling. And if I take a look and do URLs, it's the same thing except they're URLs, so they have forward slashes and specific types of pages like browse.cgi or getexpert.asp. So these are just gambling sites and depending on what you want to filter on your network, let's say, or your business, it may be that you want to filter gambling from your place of business. So, or I'm just assuming that that might be the case and this is just a, a 
example demonstration. So we need to activate these two files and turn them into databases or compile them with SquidGuard into a database that SquidGuard can read. Now to do this, what we'll want to do is edit our SquidGuard configuration file and tell it to use these two files when it's compiling its databases. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll do a sudo nano and open up root etsy squidguard squidguard.conf so back in the squidguard.conf file and there's our functions for our different topics and what we'll do is we'll create a new destination so what I'll do is create right here above destination test, which we created before, I'll create a destination gamble and domain list gamble forward slash domains and URL list gamble forward slash URLs. Now this should work. Notice that under destination adult there's domain list category, URL list category, and then it gives the path to get to those folders. So similarly here I put in domain list and then the path to get there, go into gamble folder and then you'll find the file name domains, go into the gamble folder and you'll find the file name URLs for URL list. So now all I need to do is go down here and say pass not test any and what I'll do is I'll say not gamble space not test any and that should work. Control X, Y, and Enter. Now I want to do one other thing. In the domains category, I'm going to put in a domain. For instance, I want to edit domains and right at the top of the list, just as a sample domain, I'll put in DraftKings Dot com. And if this works and the compiling is correct, this domain should show up in our blacklist and we should be able to block that. Now as you can see, right now in Firefox, I'm able to go to DraftKings.com, no problem. But after we put in this blacklist, we'll see if we can still go there. So there it is. I'll do Control X. Y, enter. I've saved that. And oops, looks like I didn't open it with uh, permission. So sudo nano domains draftkings.com, control X, Y, and enter. Now it's saved. So now that looks good. All I need to do now is compile my blacklist. To do that, I'll run a sudo call the SquidGuard program dash capital C all to compile all the files specified in my squidguard.conf file. Okay, it looks like they were all compiled. If we take a look inside of it now, CD, let's see here, gamble, and do an ls you can see that there's now a domains.db file and a urls.db file so that's nice now what I want to do is I want to run a sudo chone and I want to chone recursively with user proxy colon proxy group and 
give the squid program under proxy proxy access to the entire var lib squidguard db folder excellent so now if we look in db and do an ls-l you see that gamble and the files within gamble all have proxy proxy ownership uh, proxy proxy permission and ownership and so squid will be able to access these files okay that looks good all I need to do now is restart squid and it should work so to do that we just do a sudo service squid3 reload and then a status and you can see that everything looks good they don't I don't see any errors so now I'll open up Firefox on my Windows computer this is my Windows laptop here and the Raspberry Pi is the remote desktop connection so I'm actually using a Windows computer so I open up uh, Firefox from my Windows computer I'm gonna go to options and go to advanced network connection settings set the manual proxy configuration to point to the Raspberry Pi 2 at 192.168.3.77 on port 3128 click OK and close this window and I'm even going to restart Firefox and you can see that we're still blocking the domains from before msn.com is blocked it takes me back to Google and if I go to DraftKings dot com you can see it redirects me back to Google so I no longer can go to that gambling site